Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, uh, fun baba time. Yet another one of these one shot, one deal World of Ruin bosses that end up being extremely simple. Just gotta walk to the spot in Mobiles where I can trigger this fight and then murder his face and then just walk out. So go down here, and the navigation through Mobilis isn't that hard either, because just gotta kind of go, oh, uh, there's a house, gotta go around the house. Now I'm gonna go left to this house instead. And then this house is kind of like a jagged edge here, so just gotta remember it visually. Now you could normally take a step left to avoid triggering the dog here and save yourself a couple seconds, but here there's no point because uh, I'm not even that quick anyway. The dog's going to beat me to the staircase by a long shot. <laughs> or at least I assume there's a staircase somewhere in here. Hello, uh, Tara and company. How are you doing today? Probably not so great because you're about to get uh, invaded by a giant green something. It's humanoidish, I guess. Can't be an alien because it was sealed away long ago and well, I guess I could have come here a long time ago and then got sealed away. Alright, oh, I have to trigger the cutscene. I've just been sitting here blabbing for no reason. So yeah, now I can press the A button until the uh, music starts up. Fun Bubba's gimmick doesn't really make much of a difference here, because I couldn't care less about Celeste or Savin. They're completely unequipped, and I legitimately just want them to die ASAP. <laughs> so. Oh, here he comes! He's so scary! Right and up. That navigation sure isn't scary. I um, made it to the other part of the cutscene. Nice, what a great way to save budget on sprites! Alright, this is Shadow. He's my only character who's on that controller slot. This is... Why is it that I have a character that can move upwards on all... Okay, this is the fight command. Who is this? This can't be Celeste or Sabin. Because their cursors shouldn't be moving, and shadows shouldn't... Why is every character able to move a cursor upwards here? Doesn't make sense. Oh wait, but Celeste... It doesn't have a sword right now because I unequipped her. Nice. Get out of my way, you jerk. Now this is a uh, go-go here. Let's just set him up with the... Uh, it's probably not even worth it, but... Shadow, you can defend. I gotta defend with two people because Celeste and Savin are gonna come up. Uh-oh. I hope that was Sabin and not Go Go. Alright, I think Go Go's probably dead, so I'm going to revive him with the easiest to figure out character. Phoenix down, Go Go. Okay. Gogo is apparently not dead, which means this must be Gogo. It was both Celeste and Seven who died, which is exactly what I wanted, except I didn't manage to figure it out quickly enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. The thing is, when they when they're dead, they are guaranteed to be the ones blown away by uh, Baba Breath. So 
That's why I want Celeste and Sabin taking a dirt nap, and the first half of this fight isn't very long either, so... I just don't want Shadow to get blowfished, because that would uh, kind of suck a little. It wouldn't completely ruin my chances of winning, but it would hurt. But that's it. That's it for his first phase. Goodbye, Celeste slash Sabin. Goodbye, other Celeste slash Sabin. And hello, Terra. Terra won't actually be entirely useless here because she does have a Thunder Shield, believe it or not, because Sabin and Celeste did not have the Thunder Shield, and it's the highest defensive piece of equipment that I have right now. So this is. Okay, this is Terra. I don't really want to use her yet. This is Shadow, and I want to make him throw the Shadow Edge. Now this should be Go-Go. Let's just get him doing stuff as quickly as possible. Blowfish is the biggest threat in this fight. Go-Go has 126 M block with that Magus Rod kicking butt, and I have the Force Shield on him now because it's not on Celeste. So, he's got 126 M block and he can barely be hit by anything. So I'm just hoping that's enough to carry him. Well, that's a smack. Let's have you throw a potion at yourself or Shadow, and Shadow can do the same thing. I don't think it'll make a difference, but... Nope, that's not helping. Alright, go, go. Please do something before... There we go. One out of three. Just hoping for not blowfish attacks. Throw a potion at yourself. Don't you two have exciting lives? That's two out of three. Gogo has almost won this fight. I guess I could have prob possibly given Gogo a wall ring instead of the, uh... I'm not sure if that would be the better or worse option instead of one of his relics that's help his, helping his M block a little. And it's done. So I guess that's kind of a moot point now. See you later, Fun Bubba. I, since I'm being as cheap as I could possibly be here with a fully powered up traveler just wrecking things, that fight ended up being a great deal easier than in my uh, low level no equipment game where he was a serious pain in the butt because I did ban Traveler for that entire challenge so step mine rather it's called Traveler in the GBA version which is why I probably call it Traveler a lot I mean I could call it Jim but I don't think that would uh, be very clear at all so now it's time for a cutscene that I still can't see so Nope. <laughs> Nothing too crazy seeming except a music change. But done another thing off my checklist of things to do. And if I can knock out Doom Gaze today, I'll have uh, only a couple items left on the checklist. <laughs> the big master checklist of stuff. After that, my next target's Chatternook, because Realm's the only level 6 character left for me to get, and there's nothing obstructing her, so... And I've done all the preparations I need to, like snagging that good old Magus rod from the uh, other place. Chatternook doesn't even have... from the Dirt Dragon, that is. Chatternook doesn't even have anything that can pierce that does he slash she, but on the other hand, I'm not sure whether the going in and out is going to affect me. I think it might, so I'm going to have, I might actually end up needing to play that 
still, instead of just pressing A on the trap on the Mesosaur button and uh, oh, whoops, I forgot to take a step up, one step up. Given how the uh, area is laid out, though, it won't matter. But I've also got Azur's Mansion to go through, and there's a couple battles in there, so I'm gonna need to work out all the EXP. I'll probably have to take more than one trip as well, so that I can ditch Gao to, so that I can have Gao absorb some of the EXP, but then ditch him before Realm comes out. I can't fight Chatternook with Gao in the party, nor could I fight uh, Fun Bubba. I could have done it with Dirt Dragon, but given that that was seven minutes long, even on a bad run. It wasn't worth the time to go all the way to the Velt to get him back for that and then leap him off again. Eleven minutes for that ridiculous easy boss, but that was also mostly cutscenes. See you next time!